Welcome to Mastartic. In this question, triangle with sides A, B, and angle alpha is given. The question asks to find the lengths of angle bisector in terms of A, B, and alpha. To solve the question, I first name the corners in this triangle as A, B, C, and D. And I'm going to apply law of cosines to these two triangles, 1 and 2. What law of cosine says is that if you have a triangle with sides, let's say x, y, z, and this is beta, z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2 times x, y cosine beta. So this is the formula that I'm going to use in two triangles. If I start from this triangle and apply law of cosine, I will have cd squared is equal to a squared plus and the length of bisector is l l squared minus 2 times a times l cosine alpha over 2 and if i apply the same rule to the uh, right triangle i will get bd squared is equal to b squared plus L squared minus 2BL cosine alpha over 2. From these two, I can obtain the relation uh, CD squared over BD squared is equal to A squared L squared minus 2 times AL squared cosine alpha over 2 over b squared plus l squared minus 2 b l cosine alpha squared okay in the next step i'm going to use uh, angle bisector uh, theorem and that theorem says that if we have a triangle like this and a angle bisector is given uh, the ratio between uh, these two sides is equal to the ratio of uh, these two sides in other words we can write uh, CD over uh, BD is equal to A over B. This is the relation that we're going to use. And if we apply squared to both sides, we will have A squared over B squared. And I can use this here. This is equal to a squared to b squared uh, let me uh, simplify this term by multiplying uh, these sides if i apply multiplication we will get a squared b squared plus b squared l squared minus 2 a b squared l cosine alpha squared is equal to now the other side a squared b squared plus a squared l squared minus 2 b a squared l cosine alpha squared so we can uh, simplify these terms b squared minus uh, a squared so uh, this is what we have in the left hand side and in the right hand side we will have so it is 2 times a b times L cosine alpha over 2 times B minus A. Uh, because L uh, is not equal to 0, I can uh, simplify uh, these two L's from both hand side. It will give me B minus A times B plus A, which is this term, uh, times L is equal to 2A uh, cosine alpha B minus A. Well, now we can simplify this further. In order to simplify this term, we assume that B is not equal to A. And because of this assumption, we can now simplify these two terms. And if you simplify this, you will get uh, 2 times AB uh, cosine alpha over 2 divided by B plus A. This was assuming this condition. And if we assume that uh, we have uh, B is equal to A, we, we have two triangles that are 
exactly identical and because of that we, they have equal uh, angles here which makes them right triangles and if here is a right triangle we can obtain this as L is equal to B times cosine alpha over 2 or because A and B are equal we can write it as A cosine alpha over 2 so the general form is this one and if they are equal uh, one of these two is our length of angle bisector if you like this video please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you